Here we are arriving in Dominica, August of 2011. Dominica originated as volcanic islands, or island. The tallest uh, peaks about 4,000 feet. The island is about 15 miles wide and 30 miles long, so it's a one mountainous uh, range here with uh, small villages, and the capital Rozo is the main uh, island. You fly over a mountain and down to the runway small in a small uh, passenger plane. Here we are landing at the runway uh, in Dominica and the terminal will be coming up here in a minute. We're just about to touch down. The uh, terminal is uh, has been uh, in improved and enlarged by a factor of about three over the past three or four years. Many times uh, improved since our first visit here. Of course if you go to the end of the runway and look out, you'll see the Atlantic Ocean. So the end rate ends in the Atlantic Ocean. Well, we're, we got out of the airport in record time. I don't think we've got out that quick ever before. Uh, no problems with customs. We're just leaving the airport, crossing over the, the bridge here. A little river, and there's the Atlantic Ocean out there. And just uh, just leaving the airport. Winding down the road in about 40 minutes, we'll be in Naroso. We waited a lot. Climb over here, dive in the bus. It's west from Miami. And Janelle. Where did we get Steven? Steven's videos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Atlantic Ocean here. We're coming up here on the left, an old uh, sugar cane. You know? You see Waving. little remnants of it here. The remnants of one of the big wheels. The old mill still from the old British days. We're down in Canefield now. So we're coming into Roseau. Crossing the So we're crossing the Roseau River and Roseau River. Downtown Roseau ahead of you. Yeah. Don't blink. Now don't blink. Downtown Roseau. This isn't Main Street, but it's one of the main streets. The Rosa was very crowded little city, the capital of Dominica. Seventy thousand people approximately here on the island and probably twenty five, thirty percent of them congregate near or in Rozo, around Rozo area. This is scattered throughout the island. The Rozo is where most of the commerce and stores and Business takes place. Now we're on our final approach to Walton Waven. And you see that the road here is a little narrow road, fairly bumpy road, very windy, and it gets more narrow the closer we get up here to Walton Waven. Of course, not at the full top of the mountain, but quite a ways up. Oh, they've had quite a slide here. Or are they putting a new road in? The culvert there, brother. Somebody wrote building. That's a lot. What? What is that? Probably an entrance. Oh, okay. Structure. We're coming into. Yep. That was quick, Clem. Here we are. That was quick. Quick. Yeah. How quick. are you? Good to I'm see you. Maybe in a half an hour or so. We, we went to Fort Young. We went to Castle Comfort already. Now this is Clement so Pierre Louis. We're staying here. Just pack up and the plane. The plane did arrive early. Okay. Here we go. Now here's the home that we'll be uh, staying in for our two weeks. Well, we're here at the home of Pierre Louis and Clement. Clement Pierre Louis and Hetty. Where we're going to spend the next couple of weeks. You see our radio antenna. Esmond Jones and Don Clement and I put this up about 10 years ago. We do a little scan around. We're right up on a ridge, about a thousand feet up, about two and a half miles inland from the Caribbean Ocean, inland from Rosa, which is right on the ocean. A breadfruit tree there and all kinds of things. You see, we're right up here in the rainforest. Not at the top, though. You see those ridges way up there. 
top. We're about more than halfway up. And over here is the solar panel. Keep things going when the power is not running. In the cottage, you see the roof of that there in the background.